church and in a special way to Catholic education. <laughs> the cross brought here today reminds us of Jesus carrying the cross in the God of his suffering. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ who loved us unto death. Let this cross be a sign of your love, love, peace, and for the people you have gathered here today to pray for the repose of this soul.
away from the road of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all people. On this mountain, he will cause the veil that veil for all people. The well that is broken over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of the people that he will do from the whole earth for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord to whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. <laughs> For if we have wronged in communion with him through 
We shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that our sinful body might be done away with it, that we might no longer be in safe slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. and 
banquets prepared for all of the Nobles. I'm sorry, I didn't have that talent. <laughs> there are many reasons to have a funeral, but I want to just proceed to focus on three in particular. We come to give thanks to God for peace and time. We pray for his family, his friends, and church members who mourn his death. And we officially give him back to God, who first gave him to us. In this case, we're also preparing to send each body back to his family and friends in Ireland. And because of modern technology, we believe they are now tuned in to this mass and watching us live via the World Wide Web, Cameron's Wide Web. So, on behalf of Bishop Gordon, all of our peace, brother priests, many non friends, religious brothers, deacons, and the people of the Diocese of Colossi, I want to extend our sympathies to all of you in Ireland. To Mary, Father Keith's mother, to his sisters Kathy, Margaret, Riley, Ivy, Nora, and Bernie, to his 24 nieces and nephews, his nine, nine grand nieces and nephews, and your spouses and boyfriend encouragement, we promise our prayer. Please know that Mary, Patty Joe, and my Teresa, my dear Joe Dennis, and a few others look forward to seeing you next week. We are honored to bring each body home to you in Woodrow and then to St. Catherine's Church, Newbridge, for burying on the church grounds. Very on the ground of the church where he was baptized, made <coughs> his first confession, first communion, was confirmed, was ordained a priest, and said his first mass in 1973. I want you all to know in Ireland that we are heartbroken at easy death. He made a massive contribution to our church in Mississippi. Because of his talent for figures and the great head he had in shoulders, every bishop called him to serve our church at the Baths and the He was on the priest council, the first led board, the diocesan finance council, the diocesan school board, the Association of Priests Board, and for many years was in charge of ongoing education for priests, and he was in charge of starting the active program in our lives. Father Peach, or as we call him Peachy, had a passion for learning, and he wanted all of us to go to every workshop, every street, every day of recollection, every opportunity given for renewal. However, we had another call with the priest leading the charge, not for ongoing education, but against. Father Jerry Cleary never understood why we needed that stop. <laughs> he always felt he had turned off the seminary. Father Peter knew how to lead theory just a little. He would push him, and he would ask Father Theory. When did you go to seminary? <laughs> of course, Theory had to agree that he went to the 1950s. <laughs> I remember one night, and him telling Jerry Theory, Jerry, if your doctor told you that he went to medical school in the 1950s and never went back for a refresher course, would you still go to him? <laughs> and all Theory said was, Peter, you're full of fun. My want to Ireland to know that Peter was not well known in Mississippi and particularly here in St. Louis and in the town. I am not at all surprised.
surprised by young or young dog and support during his illness, short illness, and death. It was overwhelming, but reassuring. So it was the same three of these before. Newborn babies, children, teenagers, adults and old people. There were nuns, priests, the bishop, deacons, to pray with and for eating and to wish well. I want to publicly acknowledge and thank all of you in Mississippi for being so kind, good, and welcoming to all of us Irish called to serve here. It's probably very difficult for our families to understand how we can leave them all behind. But you have become our second family, and you are so, so good to all of us, and you are so good to all of you Thank you. For you in Mississippi, there are other things I want to tell you that you may or may not know. Father Peter is from a family of 12 children. He is the oldest, and he was only 15 years of age when he said Jim Walker died. His mother raised 12 children on a 51 acre farm out of field, fertile, woodbrook, land, and high skill stretching down the river. She had little help from her neighbors and a heap of things. She was a great woman. She is a great woman. But I want to remind you, she was a convict before she became a monster. <laughs> I want you all to know 
that he didn't spend all of his time working. He was an average developer and not to play. In fact, I think he was a much better developer than Father Patrick Chaplinsky or Jeremy um, Hardy or PJ Hardy. And he didn't spend near as much time on the court as they did. Here in this city, we also have a casino. Sometimes when people play, they need a priest to talk to. Or listen to their story. Or maybe even go to confession. And all of these was usually in the middle. In fact, at his seven Sunday night, he got his gambling habit from his mother. She loved to play bingo when she was able. Louis, while Louis put the window share with me that it was even a small chance that with a slot machine or a blackjack table in heaven, easy may have already found it. <laughs> of course, we all know that Louis himself hopes that the blackjack table is <laughs> And not important to us, easy was lucky sometimes. Several years ago, he won ten thousand dollars. He gave every penny of it to Catholic education. Not too long ago, he won five thousand dollars worth of shopping at the Academy Sports. He gave four thousand to the poor, and he gave the other thousand to his sisters who came to visit him last October to the little that go for Anne and Mary instead of this trip. So my friends, in giving thanks to God for all of Peter, we remember all these things. These Christ-like actions that made him who he was. And as St. Paul says, we grieve but we grieve like people who have hope. And as difficult as it is right now, we do our best not to let our hearts be troubled. Peter was baptized into Christ Jesus and baptized into his death. We remember his mother's words when she was told she was greatly ill. She said, God gave him to us. 65 years ago, and if God is ready for him now, who are we to stop him? Amen. Amen. So, Father Peach, son, brother, brother in law, uncle, grand uncle, cousin, brother priest, pastor, and friend, we entrust you now to God's loving care. And with faith, we hear God's words to you. Well done, good and faithful servant. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Until we meet again, may you rest in peace.
Let's respond, Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, we have received the light of Christ. Gather the darkness now and lead him over the water of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord Our brother Peter was nervous at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the hall of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord Our brother Peter shared in the priesthood of Jesus Christ, leading God's people in prayer and worship. Bring him into your presence where he will take his place in the heavenly liturgy. We pray to the Lord. Lord For the family and friends of our brother Peter, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, whoever the death of his friend Lazarus. We are especially mindful of Peter's mother, Mary. We pray that the blessed mother will console her in the loss of her dear son. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, especially for Peter's father, James, and all his deceased relatives, that they may see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, our God, giver of peace and healer of souls. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <coughs> Thank you. 
and filled with his Holy Spirit, they become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he be for us and eternal love and confusion, so that he may obtain the inheritance of the pure land, especially from the most blessed earth, the very mother of God, the blessed Joseph of God, who you rest the cross of the glorious heart, and with all the saints, and with constant intercession of your Christ, we rely on the Lord of God. Peace I give you, my peace I give you. 
but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
Behold, the anger of the day is around the God, and behold, the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. <laughs>